and welcome back to Cap That Flag. Today we're continuing our Pico CTF series with a challenge titled Matroshka Doll. It's worth 30 points, it's from Pico CTF 2021, and it's in the Forensics category. The description reads, Matroshka dolls are a set of wooden dolls of decreasing size placed one inside another. What's the final one? And then it links to an image. Let's start by downloading the image. And now let's view the image. So this is a picture of a Matroshka doll. Obviously this doesn't have the flag visible in the image. From the wording of the challenge, I'd expect there to be other data hidden within this image. So let's have a look to see if we can find it. First, let's use EXIF tools to examine the metadata of the image. And we can see that the file type is PNG and nothing else particularly stands out in here. Although we do have an interesting warning here saying that there is trailer data after the PNG I end chunk. So let's investigate what an I end chunk is in a PNG file. So according to Wikipedia, the I end chunk in a PNG file marks the end of the image. And looking back at the output from the EXIF tool, this warning is essentially saying that there is some data after the end of the PNG file. And so we probably want to investigate this further. So I want to get an idea of what normal looks like for a PNG file. So I've just grabbed a random one off the internet and I'm going to use XXD, which is a hex dump tool, just to have a look at the tail end of the file and get an understanding of what normal looks like. So I can then compare to the file we've got from the challenge. So we can see the label for the I end chunk here. There's a little bit more data after that, but that's essentially what we would expect a normal PNG file to look like. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the dolls.jpg image that we have. So we can see for the dolls.jpg file, there's no I end chunk visible at the tail end of the file. And we also have this base images slash two underscore c.jpg. So it seems more likely that we're correct in our theory that there's something going on at the end of this file. So now I just want to confirm that there actually is an I end chunk in this file. And we do have one. There was a possibility that this wouldn't work if the I end string happened to run over two lines, um, but we were lucky enough that this command worked for us. And we can see that we've got the similar ending to the file here as up for our sample file and directly after it for our dolls.jpg file, we actually have the letters PK, which correspond to the magic bytes for a zip file. So it looks like a zip file starts just after our PNG file finishes. So now we want to cut everything past the end of this PNG file out of the file and make a new file out of it. So we need to know the exact number of bytes into the file this P is. And we can see this line starts at 42860. And that corresponds with this byte, this first byte right here. So we can just count along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C. So we want to carve from position four, two, eight, six, C in this file. Now we need to convert that to decimal. So I'm just using an online converter. So this is how many bytes into the file that our hidden zip file seems to start at. So we can use the program DD to pull the zip file out of the dolls.jpg file. The input file specified to be dolls.jpg. The output file is where we're going to store the carved file. We're skipping this many bytes into the file, which takes out all of the PNG information. And IBS equals one is telling it to go one byte at a time. So when we run that, we now hopefully have a zip file. 
I'm going to make sure I've carved it correctly. And we can see it starts with that PK magic byte. So that looks okay. So we'll try to unzip it. And it does look like we've got a valid zip file and it has extracted two underscore C dot JPG. If we have a look at this file, it's showing us another doll, but no flag information. Let's see what type of file we're really looking at. And it's another PNG file. Let's have a look at the metadata of this file using EXIF tool. We can see it has the same warning as the previous file about some data after the I end chunk. So we're potentially dealing with the exact same thing again, which would definitely fit the theme of a Matroshka doll. So let's have a look at the end of this file as well. So we can see there's another reference to a JPEG file and there's no I end chunk visible at the end of this file. So it looks like it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So again, let's search for the I end chunk within this file. And it is there again. And we also have yet another zip file straight after. So we'll count the bytes again. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B. And then we'll convert that to decimal again. And we use DD again to carve out the zip file. And let's try and unzip that file. And that worked and we're getting a three underscore C dot JPG out of that zip file. Let's take a look at this one. That's yet another little Matroshka doll. But once again, we'll look at the end of the file. It is also referencing another JPEG file of four underscore C. And there's also no iron chunk again. So we'll find where the iron chunk is. Okay, so this time this hasn't found anything and it might be because this I end, I end string is over two lines. So we're going to try a few different combinations. So it might be this top one that's wrapping around. So I'll try again with D. And so, yeah, so we've got 1E2C0 has the IE and the IE2D0 as the ND, and there we see yet another zip file. So again, we'll count the characters. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're looking to carve from 1E to D6. We'll convert that yet again, and carve out the zip file yet again. And then we'll unzip it and have a look at the file. And we're still not there, but we must be getting pretty close. And so we'll look at the end of the file again. And here we can see there's a flag.txt. And we'll search for the iron chunk again. And we'll count the characters 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A. So we're carving from 136DA. Convert that again and carve again and unzip the file and use cat to look at the flag.txt file. And finally, we have our flag. So having done all that manually, there is actually a faster way we can do this. And that's using a program called binwalk. So binwalk is a tool for searching binary images for embedded files and executable code. But what should actually work for us here, um, we would want to be using dash E to extract file types. And it even has dash M, which is a Matroshka mode to recursively scan the extractor files. So all you need to do is run binwalk with those two flags against that doll, initial dolls.jpg file. And we can see it's hitting 2C, 3C, 4C, and flag.txt. So this lets us skip straight to the end step of reading the flag.txt 
and getting the flag in plain text. So in this one, we've learned a little bit about the format of PNG files. We've learned to examine files using a hex dump tool like XXD. Uh, we've learned a little bit about carving out files from other files using DD. And we've learned about the bin walk tool, which can make some of these tasks a bit quicker. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.